Hello and welcome back to the Old Golden Black YouTube channel and today the question is who has been Wolves best player of 2017? <laughs> Now we're not just looking at this season, we're looking at the whole of 2017. So there could be a few people who have left out of here a little bit harshly, I think. Uh, but I'll let you discuss that in the comments down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more Wolves content. The first player I've gone for is Matt Doherty. I think at the end of last season he had a couple of ropey performances, particularly Bristol City away comes to mind. But playing at left back for the majority of last season. Uh, but he's reinvented himself again to be into this right wing back position where he has excelled. He's really, really done well bombing forward. He's created a couple of chances. He scored a goal and a couple of assists as well, winning penalties as well. Has been a really important piece of the way of we that we play, uh, particularly the way that Ruben Neves is able to find him so easily across the pitch is just a great release. Uh, when we were under pressure. If you consider that Doherty made his debut back in 2011 at Anfield when we were in the Premier League, for him to have kept himself relevant and to still be in that first team despite all the managers who've come in and out and despite the calibre of manager now and other players that we've got in the team, I think he's done exceptionally well and he's had a really good second half of 2017. Player number two in my list of five is Connor Cody. Uh, Connor Cody signed in 2015 as a centre midfielder. Personally, I've never seen him actually play there. I know he did in his first season there at uh, Wolves, but I didn't see him play there. He's played at centre-back, he's played at right-back, but now he's reinvented himself as the Franz Beckenbauer of the Championship in that sweeper role where he has really come into his own. He's organised, he's vocal, he is the captain. He's shown as well his com commitment in interviews uh, to the Wolves. He's signed a new contract this year as well, and he has become a really, really key part of that defence and the reason why we're so strong at the back. And if you consider as well the players that we brought in in the summer with Roderick Miranda, for him to have risen to that challenge and to be in that position still now halfway through the season is credit to Connor Cody. The third player on my list is John Ruddy. He signed from a Norwich on a free transfer back in July, the couple of days after the tragic announcement of Carla Kimi's uh, leukaemia diagnosis. But he's won us a handful of points already by himself. He's also kept the most clean sheets in England at the moment in all four divisions, which is great. And he's also started to add assists to his game with his amazing assist against Bolton. And I genuinely think that he could be knocking on the door of the England squad as the summer comes along. He has said recently in interviews that it's something that he's aiming for, but I think he probably needs to be in the Premier League before he gets another England cap. But if you think about it, there aren't that many good English goalkeepers out there. I certainly think that John Ruddy should be considered for an England spot. The fourth player is Ruben Neves, signing in July for a massive 15 or 16 million pounds fee from Porto, their youngest ever captain, their youngest captain in the Champions League. He came with this enormous calibre and this enormous potential and Porto fans were devastated that he came to us. He's a little bit like a metronome, he just keeps on going, keeps on passing the ball, keeps on using the ball well, keeps on finding space. And when we didn't have him against Birmingham recently, his importance was really highlighted in that game. He uses the ball so well, he clears the ball so well, and not just in a hoof it out the way way, but in a in a really stylish and really useful way. Uh, we've seen so many times, as I've already mentioned in this video, about the way that he gets the ball from the middle of the pitch out towards Matt Doherty, and he's able to create chances from next to nothing. And I do think that whether we get promoted or not this season, we must, must, must keep hold of him. I think he's the only player really that I'm concerned about us losing uh, in the summer. And the final player on my list is Diogo Jota. We haven't seen a winger like him at the Molyneux for a long, long time. We've seen Matt Jarvis and Michael Kiteley. They were probably our best wingers over the last 10, 15 years. But they weren't able to beat players as easily as Diogo Jota can. It's almost comparable to Messi in the way that he ghosts past players and glides past through players, particularly the, the move that led to Bonatini's goal against Aston Villa. It's unheard of in the Championship to have such a good dribbler of the ball and hopefully in January we can sign him and get that deal done as soon as possible because the goals that he scored and the assists that he makes are so valuable to this Wolves team. A couple of notable mentions, I think Helder Costa was so close to being on this list but 
I thought about the year as a whole. He had a great start to 2017, but then between the end of March and October, November, he barely played any games. And when he has done at the second half of this season, except for uh, Reading away, uh, he hasn't really set the world on fire. So that's the reason why I haven't included Costa. Leo Bonatini as well, I think, possibly could have been in this list with the number of goals that he scored, but he's gone off the pace a little bit over the last couple of games. His goal scoring uh, rate you can't argue with, and he's had a great start to his career at Wolves, and hopefully in 2018 we'll be talking about him as well. And he's another player that I hope we sign in January. And the final player who's worth mentioning is Willy Bolly. Uh, he's a very, very strong and dependable centre-back. However, he had a quite a long time out, injured, and if you consider that he only signed in August, it's a bit unfair, I think, to, to include him in the best players of 2017 when he hasn't played as many games as somebody like Conor Cody or Matt Doherty. So let me know your thoughts on the people that I've picked to be Wolves player of 2017, the year. There's a poll up there where you can vote for who you think has been Wolves' best player of 2017. Let me know if there's anybody you think that I missed out in the comment section down below. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more Wolves content. And I'll see you soon.